Hi, my name's Frank Valintic and welcome to Advantage Property Market Update. Melbourne continues its consistent performance. The clearance rates have been sitting around 60 to 64% most weekends and it's definitely found a consistent level and they're well above where Sydney has dropped to. Some weekends it's 40 to 50%. We're still seeing some good results though. Uh, people need to have a long-term view as we saw with a, a house that sold in Malvern recently in Pine Grove. So for 1,677,000, that property was bought by the owner in 1996 for 197,000. So it's doubled about eight times over 21 years. And property is all about a long-term 10-year plan at least, rather than speculating and buying for the short term. Well, the banks are making some big changes. Uh, interest rates are being raised independently. Uh, Westpac raised the rates by 0.14%, it was followed by nearly all of the major banks. And now, with the Royal Commission, the banks are making it much harder uh, to borrow money. Uh, they're asking for proof of spending, and uh, this has dropped some buyers' capacity to buy by 30 to 40%. So it has been a big change, and it will continue to be a big change uh, for lots of buyers trying to get into the marketplace. So we're seeing more buyers become rent investors now, as it's becoming a lot harder to borrow money for owner-occupied properties uh, with the capacity to borrow. Uh, so with a rent investor, they get money from the tenant and it allows some investors to get into the marketplace when they might not be able to afford their own property. Well, Melbourne's unemployment rate has dropped to its lowest level for many years. It's now around 5%, which is great news. And we're seeing our population growth really being the biggest driving factor for our property market. Uh, 88,000 new people last year, 69,000 from overseas migration, 19,000 from interstate migration. That's really driving our marketplace. Well, the block properties are up and running at the Gatwick Hotel. The renovations are over halfway mark and we're seeing some uh, fantastic renovations. We look forward to being involved with our 10th series. So the block properties have seen a great result where Rod and Tanya's property in Cameron Street, Richmond sold for 1.5 million. Uh, we purchased Polly and Waz's property next door for 855,000 seven years ago, so it's had some fantastic growth. Uh, we've had some great results with our own group lock purchases. We had a client recently that purchased in uh, Mitcham a couple of years ago, and, and they sold that for 530,000, and it was purchased for 370,000, only some minor cosmetic renovations. We also saw a great result in Carolyn Street, South Yarra, where a client purchased three years ago for 340,000, just sold for 452,000. That property uh, was renovated by some of the block contestants as it was part of that uh, contestants challenge to see who would uh, end up on the Ducks House series of the block in Darling Street, South Yarra. Please don't hesitate to get on our website, check out our information about our buyer's advocate, seller's advocate, property management, owner's corporation services, and our group block purchases. We'll see you next time.